I just wanted to reiterate that like the powers that be know that humans are easily programmed and how to do it. And that's exactly what they're doing very clearly, keeping us in a fear state with masks and all the rest of it. Because the way our nervous system evolved is when it gets activated, we can't feel, we right. can't think. And that's where they're trying to keep us. And that's yeah. why we need to override that programming within ourselves. So that was my goal in, in this book is to make it simple enough so that each of us can learn to go back within and connect our heart and feel again so that we can restore presence and think properly. And that alone is adding to the field, the ability of others to come back too. Yeah. I'm you know, the, let me tack on to that. The, you know, the, I've been able to speak in, in depth to several people who were, you know, un willingly and unknowingly in, in in some cases a part of the mk ultra mind control program and so i've gotten a a chillingly detailed understanding of how that works you know it was developed originally by the nazis and then there were literally thousands of nazi researchers who were brought over in project paperclip to the united states and some of them went into the space program but a whole lot of them went into developing mk ultra with the cia and one of the main things there is to, if you're if you want to control someone's mind you have to make them weak so you deprive them of sleep you have to make them distracted so you have continual traumatic input just one after another so that they can never quite find their center and right. then then you start inflicting trauma in such a way that they have to dissociate and just keep one connection and that one connection this is where the literally the the wholeness of a of a soul breaks apart into multiple personality and that's what they discovered is if they can break people into these multiple personalities and keep them afraid enough then they could trigger a different personality and the a person's focus would be so narrow that they wouldn't even know that they were those other personalities much less their original self so now they're doing that whole thing because what then they would use that trauma to literally train these individuals like Kathy O'Brien, who was in the Freedom Portal with us. They would train them as sex slaves, as couriers and assassins because they could go out and do those things and then go back to a different personality. They would not even remember that that they did them. So now, as Kathy confirmed, they're trying to do that to all of society where they remain the controllers, but they make everyone else afraid sick, overwhelmed, and then so distracted that they are focusing just on one thing at a time and can't see this larger picture. That's why they don't want psychedelics. They don't want plant medicine. They don't want what's the Falun Gong, you know, in China. They shut yeah. down and killed, uh, you know, thousands and thousands of Falun Gong practitioners because anybody who's trying to control society doesn't want people who are in touch with their soul and is aware of the situation. So what we're doing here is, you know, we're all being peaceful warriors. We're learning the skills, not only of defending ourselves, but of protecting humanity at this critical time. Right, and, the, and once we reconnect and work on that internally, that's where the empathy and all that come in like with practice then you you get a sense of what's right and what's not yeah from within beautiful <laughs>